Hey, what's up, and welcome to live.besttechie.net, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions, and everything technology related. I want to talk about today uh, IMAP versus POP3, which are two different protocols for um, sending and receiving email. IMAP is, stands for Internet Message Access Protocol, while POP3 stands for Post Office Protocol version or three which is the where the three comes from um basically there there's they they provide the same functionality and the, and they do the same task they allow you to send and receive email but the way they go about doing so is a little different now what's which one's better than the other one uh well it, it depends it varies from different person i personally like imap and i'll explain to you why i like imap and why pop three you know works too um, but I prefer IMAP. Of course, you should always use um, some kind of encryption protocol like TLS, Transport Layer uh, se uh, Security, which will allow you to basically encrypt your messages. That way it prevents people from eavesdropping on them or tampering them or forging them or something, uh, things of that nature. It really keeps them a lot safer. So I use IMAP with TLS um, to, to help protect my messages when they're sent. That being said, what is, what's the difference between the two? Well, IMAP allows you to uh, communicate with the server and read the headers and things of the messages without actually downloading them, and it keeps the, the, the email itself, the message, on the server. So, for example, let's say you get a large email, a large file, and an email. With POP3, POP3 will automatically just download all the stuff once it's on the server. When you, email, when you open your client, it will download all the emails, and it will just it, it will take them off the server and then you're stored locally on your computer whereas with imap it'll keep it on the server until you download it and even then it keeps a copy on the server until you actually delete the message so that's that's key i like that because it helps with archiving email um keeping email for later and it also here's the key one here's the one i love about it you can check your messages from multiple locations that is one of the most important things to me because i'll i'll check it on my desktop over here but i'll have my laptop with me uh, if I'm in class or something or school and I want to check my email but I don't want to and I want to make sure that the messages are also um, delivered when I'm on my desktop so I check my email on my I'm sorry on my laptop sorry I didn't mean to hit the mic there um, and it'll get the messages and it'll keep a copy on the server so when I come home I'll also be able to read the same messages on my desktop which is key and you can do this um, with any with any IMAP um, based email um, so it's it's key to me that it happens now with pop 3 on the other hand that's not the case once you download the message from the server it's on your computer locally now so you can you can't do the same thing you have to check your email from one location and you're and you automatically download it there and you can't really get that message again on on this side unless you forward it kind of so that that's a little um of a problem for me now the one downside to using imap is uh, storage space obviously there's only so much storage you can actually use uh, on your server depending on size of the drive or how how much your quota is is uh, is depending on how big it is so you do have to delete the messages after a while good thing is though that email it doesn't really take up that much space I mean mostly most of them are text files you don't often get large attachments of things in that nature so every so often you can delete messages or just or delete you know spam which takes up space too um, but just delete messages you don't need anymore. And it, it generally works out pretty well. Uh, if you're looking in, if you're looking for a way to set up IMAP easily on your server or use IMAP, and your and your current uh, host doesn't provide it, check out Google Apps. Google Apps is free for the most part. They have a they have a paid version and also a free version. I've done a video on this. If you want to check that out, it's basically the ultimate email management tool in my opinion, and it's free. You can use it. And it, and it supports IMAP and POP3, so you can use either or, and it's excellent. I love that software. I use it all the time. And, it, of course, it has the TLS, um, so you can make sure your messages are encrypted. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been live.besttechie.net. If you have any questions about IMAP or POP3, feel free to email me at besttechie at besttechie.net. And, of course, you can post on our forums for free um, at besttechie.net slash forums, and we'll be able to help you out there, too. And remember, take care of your computers. We'll see you next time.